everyone, I am trying something new today with our internet, so we shall see if technology wants to be our friend today. Hopefully it is being kind to us. So as soon as you jump in, I'd love to see a comment, just so I know I can see all of you. If not, I'll scramble. Yes! Kayla, best comment ever. Hello, good afternoon. Jump on in. I love it when I can see all your comments. It makes me happy. Hi, Carrie. Hey, Linda. Hey, Lisa. Hello, Lisa. <laughs> Hi, Jesse. <laughs> I'll be spending the day with you tomorrow, Jesse. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, oh, we're back. Maybe if I bring the modem closer to me. Anyway, we have to test these things. It's the only way we're going to find out the best solution. I just wish Australia had good internet. That's all I want. Just give us good internet. I think it was better in the Philippines and it's a developing country. <laughs> What's going on? Good afternoon, Deborah. Hi, Sarah. There's so many of you here. So nice to see you all. Pair me. Wow, love it. Hey, Nicole. It's good to see that my little blurb, my little p picture going out might have enticed a few of you to jump on in if you had some time. So thanks for spending some time with us. I'm so glad you're here live too, Lisa. Yes, I've got something fun to make with you today. But before I jump in and make something, well, I'll show you what we're going to do actually because I've got a new card kit for the week. And due to popular demand... Uh, I am going to make it available to demonstrators as well or people who purchase from other demonstrators. However, please note that you can make these a lot cheaper if you're a demonstrator and you have access to these products. You can chop it up yourself because you love it, chop it. But I know some of you struggle with love it, chop it. So just in case, I have this kit ready. So it has six cards that it makes and I'm going to use this to show you how this paper, it's called the Petal Passion Designer Series Paper, how you can really change it up. You can make some really cool stuff with this paper. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for jumping in. Thanks for saying hi when you jump in too. And feel free to share. I keep forgetting to say it, but when I finish my video, it has a little subscribe button at the end. So I'd love it if you'd subscribe. That way you don't um, miss out. I'm glad I'm motivating you to blog. Uh, Kayla, that's awesome. By the way, Kayla is an artisan team member, everyone. We have an artisan team member with us. <laughs> yes, I love this suite. Really, really love it. So I want to show you... Oh, thank you, Carol. That's really sweet of you. I want to show you how you can really spice this up. Um, I am giving them the cardstock and paper and not the paper to stamp on. No. No paper to stamp on. They can... They can punch out their own little design or style if they want to do that. But for me, I kind of feel like this is a complete card anyway without a sentiment. So it's really entirely up to you. So I hope that helps, Rick. But you totally could if you wanted to do a card kit. Something interesting. It's a good segue, actually, Rick. So thank you for asking. Yes, Sandra, you should turn me off. Go do work. <laughs> Um, something that I discovered today, I don't know if any of you have done this same thing, but I went through the occasions catalog today and I went, what have I got in my punches? Let's do a little bit of a stock take. Let's remove any that are retired and just see what I have. And you know what? I could not believe my eyes. I had not ordered this amazing starburst punch. I couldn't believe it. I was like, how did I miss that punch? It's like the best punch ever and it's not in my arsenal. So I very quickly placed an order that instant because I couldn't believe I didn't have it. So I thought it's just a good idea, just from time to time, a little reminder, just go through a little stock take, have a look at what you have. Um, I just put it on the catalog, I write them down and I did a big circle like, hello, how do you not have this? Um, brilliant for sentiments. It's great for boy cards too, but even you can make it, yeah, very feminine too. I know! 
it's my favorite too. And I'm like, how did I not have that? And I didn't have the large circle punch. No idea how I missed those two. So yes, just do a little stock take, have a look, make sure you have everything because it does, yeah, sometimes it just skips our mind. I don't know why. Oh, you just received yours last week, Mel. That's exciting. You're as excited as me. I can't wait to use that. So I might have to put it on my card today, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> so something that came of these um, kits also. So these kits, you get all six sheets of paper. And that means that you get a sample of every piece of paper in that designer series paper. I don't know. How does that happen? I ask myself the same thing, Pammy. Um, but what ended up happening was we had a lot of scraps left over. Of course, that's what happens. And I think a lot of people freak out when they have scraps. But the best thing is, is that Bruno, straight away, he's like, you know what, I'm going to make a card with this because the scraps are there. I'm going to be inventive and show how to use them. So tomorrow you'll have a video from Bruno showing how to use the scraps because I think that uh, a lot of people sort of feel like it's a waste, or but I keep all of them. I have a big box here, like a container, and I keep all my little scraps. And you never know how it can decorate the inside and make it look really funky and cool. So we will show you that tomorrow as well. And there's, of course, a lot of amazing designs happening this week. Hey, Gina, good to see you. So you probably saw last week my beautiful monochrome wedding card. I do love my blacks and whites, especially for weddings. Um, and I chopped the um, little point from the R. I think that probably freaked a few people out. So I did a, my one of my videos that were very quick. It wasn't a discussion video. It was purely a creative video. So I hope you're enjoying a little bit more of Bruno and I doing those types of videos as well as our lives because I'm really enjoying it. It's very different for me not having a bit of a chat along the way. I feel a bit random talking to myself. Um, but it's been really good for me to push myself to do something a bit different. So if you haven't seen those videos, I'll put links up. Um, Bruno did one on this one, the classy kind of guy, and he did a really great technique using the Stamparatus, our most amazing tool ever. If you didn't pre-order that, I feel very sad for you. Thank you for all my amazing customers placing their Stamparatus orders this week. Bruno doesn't mind talking to himself. He does very well, actually. He's better with the other videos, and I love the live. So, um, yeah, we're still learning. We're learning how to edit them and do other little fancy things. Bruno's very good with the video editing, so I'm learning a lot from him, which is great. It gives me a bit more confidence. But the Stamparatus is a brilliant tool. And in that video, Bruno shows you how he used the markers to color in the other sections. So he's used Tranquil Tide here. And I'm pretty sure it's Night of Navy on the Classy. And he shows you in the video how to utilize the Stamparatus in order to do that in a very quick and easy way. So I love that tool. Yeah, people hate your music. No, they just want to hear you, Bruno. That's all it is. Because I said the same thing. <laughs> I said, Bruno, your music is distracting me. But I didn't write it on a public forum. I just said it to him privately. Because that's always a nice thing to do, isn't it? Talk to people privately. <laughs> We're all learning that in the in the Facebook realm. <laughs> now, um, what's another card I've got? Oh, by the way, Bruno did um, on his video. And I should actually, I, I will do a blog post on this this week. Because some of you may have missed it. But because this was quite masculine, um, he's loved it, chopped it, and put the designer series paper in the background. Uh, I think that was the True Gentleman designer series paper that he used in the background. But he decided that it would be nice to have a feminine style. So you may have missed him doing this one. And I love what he has done with his embroidery hoop. Um, it's perfectly um, sort of coordinated with that font as well those um, sentiments and it's just really cool paper too it's like pool party bermuda bay and berry burst and he's used that beautiful um, ribbon there so yeah it's a really nice design and obviously it's the same uh, design the same layout and everything so he hasn't had to think too much about it but shown how you can 
really adapt a card that you've done before and make it into a feminine one as well, masculine or feminine. So yeah, it's on the video if you want to have a look. He does show you how he does this one. But anyway, you can see. And he used the same, same thing with the Stamparatus colouring in one section and then the other. Yes, I know the embroidery hoop is really surprising. Like to frame frame the um, sentiment like that, I think some people think, oh, what am I going to even do with that embroidery hoop? But I think the best thing to do is definitely frame the sentiment and it really makes it pop out. It looks great, doesn't it? Yes, Bruno's only used music in fast forward options now. We're, we're developing our skills. So that was those, and now we've got like two of each of these as well. So I think, should I should I do a giveaway, Bruno? I think we should give these to some people here. Bruno, do you want to pick two people? Just randomly go like that on the screen and announce who we're going to send these to for coming live. Yeah? So much fun. Two cards to give away. And then I got to be a special guest. <laughs> That's right, Pammy. I told him the positive too. I said, we want to hear your voice, not the music. It's all about you, Bruno. <laughs> me, me, me. Everyone's like, give me a card. Give me a card. Anyway, Bruno will pick someone. If he doesn't, if he's not on anymore, I'll pick someone. If we don't hear from him soon. Uh, so, oh, here he is. Why not? Let's pick someone. <laughs> So these are the other Love It Chop It cards that I did. I know a lot of you know my Love It Chop It hash card, uh, hashtag, and I, I really appreciate all of you using the hashtag. From time to time, I click on the hashtag and I go, oh, how cool. There's all these different designs all around the world <laughs> when he doesn't use all the dimensionals. Yes, he uses an entire sheet of dimensionals. Um, <laughs> Bruno's loving his dimensionals. So I really loved how simple these cards, these were using the Bubbles and Fizz designer series paper, which please remember, there is literally only five days left to get this paper. You want to collect this designer series paper because it will be gone forever. Gone. So this week's your week, people, to collect as much of the paper as you can, especially that springtime foils. Oh my goodness, I'm going to cry my eyes out when that goes. <laughs> it's so beautiful like those beautiful flower cards that I've seen in fact I've got one sitting here that um, I was sent as a random act of kindness here it is and it's just oh breathtaking Marie Hook made that from my team so that paper is going to be gone forever hey Yingy, good to see you yes the love it chop it workshop group if you're not in that group please request to join um, I've done it a little bit different. There's a hidden video in that workshop, but it's to make sure that you get all the information as you can and to make sure we don't get dodgy people requesting to be part of the group because I made a password. Yes, how beautiful is that? So please make sure any $90 purchase, you can get this foil uh, paper and literally in five days, it's gone forever. So, yes, make sure you get as much as that paper as you possibly can, the springtime foils. I think I've looked down here and I've got, oh, a good five stacks, I'd say. <laughs> so the Bubbles and Fizz paper is the same if you can collect that, even if it's just the paper you get. I mean, it's one of those things that you're going to get a lot of use out of. And because of the Love It Chop It group, um, oh, my goodness, Sandra, how can you say that? You haven't got any... Oh, you've killed me. It's my favorite thing to collect is paper. Bruno knows. He's always looking and going, Kylie, the paper's getting out of control. One step away from a fire hazard. Yes, I created a group, Kim, the Love It Chop It workshop group. I basically did a video. It was like a workshop to help people to see how they can cut their paper. Because a big thing is that um, we are scared to cut our paper. We don't know what to cut the paper at to make sure that we um, get the most out of the 12 by 12. And so what tends to happen is we don't cut it at all because we're really afraid that, oh, you used Woo Box, Bruno. You're getting all technical on us. <laughs> so I'll put a link up so that you can request to join. You have to fill out a form 
you will then be sent a password and a link to the group. So once you put in the password, you will gain entry. It's a little bit technical. It's a bit different to what we've done before. But what it does is it helps me to filter out any um, dodgies because we get a lot of requests on those groups from random people. So it protects the privacy of everyone in the group, but it also enables me to email people and keep them up to date with any other workshops that I'm doing in the future. So, and the group is open to any, any country, demonstrators, not demonstrators, everyone is welcome to come. So please jump into the Love It Chop It workshop because everyone's that there that has been part of that group, they're chopping away, they're showing their pictures. It's really, really inspiring seeing so many really embrace chopping up their paper. Oh, here we go. Shelly D'Arcy and Joanne Stubbins. Stubbings, please PM your address and we'll send it through. Yay! So we'll be sending you, you, you don't know which one you're going to get, so it's going to be a surprise. One of these two are coming in the mail. <laughs> what was Miranda's question? Did I miss Miranda's question? Let's go back here. Where are you, Miranda? Oh, yeah, group open. Yes, good. I answered that one. <laughs> yes, so I'll put up the link and, um, oh, there you go, Joanne. How exciting. Oh, pleasure. Pleasure for the winners. Yes. You got, it, you got it last week, Melinda. Oh, I'm so happy. Fantastic. Oh, and Bruno even pinned that comment. Go, Bruno. Yeah, I think a lot of people have been saying that. They realized that, um, and I don't know why we felt like this way, but I felt the same way. So I thought, surely someone feels the same way. Ha <laughs> Bruno's competing for number one assistant. I might have to have a dual number one assistant now. Uh, but we emotionally are very connected with our paper. And so being able to, to let go and see, be confident about cutting it and being confident about using it, it's very true, Jesse. Shh, we won't tell him that. <laughs> it definitely helps that group. It gives you the confidence you need to start chopping. And it's a very, very simple measurement. Once you know the measurement and once you know the theory behind cutting your 12 by 12, you will be cutting up so much of your paper. So if you have a big stash, definitely get into that Love It Chopper group. And then on top of the Love It Chopper group, what I ended up doing, um, because I really didn't know where it was going to lead. I didn't know if, if anyone was going to join. I didn't know if there would be any demand for it. Uh, we've had, I think we're pretty close to 800 subscribers to that group mind blown. So obviously there's a few of us that feel the same way about cutting our paper. So Bruno thought of a brilliant idea. He said, well, why don't we do a love it, chop it paper club? And <laughs> you have to be into tassels to be a number one assistant. Jessie definitely loves her tassels. <laughs> so Bruno thought of a love it, chop it paper club. If you're a demonstrator anywhere in the world, you're welcome to copy this idea because it's a really cool idea. But basically, we get a designer series paper. Uh, we will be cutting it in half and then it will sh be shared with two people. But it's enabling everyone to collect all of the annual catalogue papers and all of the occasion catalogue papers before they retire because we only have three months left before those papers are gone forever. So with the club, and I'll put a link up for this, if you live in Australia, you're welcome to join. If you are a demonstrator or you shop with another demonstrator, not me, please ask them first if it's okay to join my club. Um, because, yeah, particularly even if you're a demonstrator, you can do it yourself or you can ask your team leader first before joining um, because it would save you a lot of money. When you're a demonstrator, you get it cheap. So just check on that first. But basically, uh, we put the word out. We said, would you like to join our Love It Chop It Paper Club? And then I thought I would add on cardstock as an option as well. So you can collect all the cardstock that goes with the paper. Are you ready to see the delivery that came today? And this is not all of it. This is just for the month one. Month one. <laughs> Here we go. Ta -da! <laughs> I am going to be chopping a fair bit of paper today. So this is just month one. We still have two days left. So there still could be a few more subscribers, but I thought I would get ahead, get organized. And are we ready to see the cardstock? I don't think I can lift this. 
Here we go. Cardstock was clearly a good option for you. <laughs> Here we go. So I will be cutting these in half into um, card bases so that they're ready to go. And all you have to do is stick down. Isn't that the coolest? So if you want to know about my Love It Chopper Club, I will put a link and you have four options to choose from. Annual Catalogue Designer Series Paper, Annual Catalogue Cardstock, Occasions Catalogue Designer Series Paper, and Occasions Catalogue Cardstock. And you can pick all four, you can pick one, or not the other, it's totally up to you, totally flexible. There was quite a number of people that just chose cardstock, which really surprised me. But clearly, you know, they have some paper at home already, and they wanted the cardstock to go with the paper. So it's completely up to you. So yes, you've been doing that this morning, Deborah. I'm happy to hear that. I know, so much paper, and there's more to come because, yeah. So much paper. I love it, chop it. <laughs> oh, I just knocked you over. Sorry. Too much excitement with the paper. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so that's very, very exciting to see how much people are loving the paper, using the paper, and seeing how they can still stamp. I think some people thought that it was cheating if they used paper. But as you can see here, it's beautiful. It's so gorgeous. You still get to do your stamping. You still get to do some really creative things and keep it simple. But even in Marie's card, you can see, like, how beautiful is that? That is not cheating people. That is just showing the most beautiful paper to everyone. Hey, Angela, good to see you. So, anything else? Oh, yes, there was this one to show you. I'm not sure if I showed you this one. So, this was using the Lots of Lavender um, stamp set from the Celebration set, which is going in how many days is it what day are we today are we 26 today yes 25 days time and this one proved very popular this card here again using uh, the designer series paper basket weave textured embossing folder so that will be available in the occasions catalog but you know who wants to pay for it when you can get it for free uh, and uh, these thinlets are super cute this is the I think it's Picnic, Everyday Picnic, it might be, that one. I will have a look. I'll show you it in the catalogue because it might be one of those bundles that you sort of overlooked and thought, oh, I don't know if I'll use that. Trust me, it's so super cute. And, you know, it was fiddly to play with, but I really enjoyed the challenge of having, because usually my cards are very simple, very quick, like that's very me, this one here. Super, super quick, stick it down, you know, very easy, quick. But I thought I would give myself a little bit of a challenge and have some creative fun. Amy loves this bundle too, yes. Oh, nice to see you here, Amy. So this is the bundle here. So Picnic With You and the Picnic Basket Builder too. So you would definitely get a freebie if you got that um, bundle. So a good way to collect some of the... Uh, designer series paper that I've been talking about so and this was a blog hop with artisan team member Kathy Keynes and we did it as a team so look out for that blog hop you can go to my blog oh you got that stamp set it on stage how nice Joanne so that's that so I think that's all my show and tell for you I'm sure I'll think of something something else to show you <laughs> There's always something around here to show you, which is exciting. You saw that the, the stamp and blends got turned off globally, just in case you haven't heard about that. They are not going forever. Just a reminder, they are coming back, uh, but it probably won't be till the end of May. So just an update on that one. And the reason for them turning it off is due to popular demand. So well done, everyone. I mean, it's not good that they're turned off, but it's nice that they've been so popular and accepted so well. So we're really excited about that. Um, it will not affect my club members because I was able to get some on free rewards. So that was good. I was relieved about that because I did not want to leave you girls in the lurch for one month. So that worked out great. So yeah, hopefully I'll have another club up and running uh, end of May, just keep an eye out for that because they have been really popular, the Blends Club. Um, and, of course, please remember, 
you only have two days left if you want to do my love it chop it paper and cardstock club so I'll put the link up for that one as well so let's jump in I'm gonna do my card kit today I'm just gonna show you a couple of ideas and the funny thing is is I really haven't planned what I'm gonna do I'm, I'm just sort of running with it to see what we come up with uh, but it will show you the flexibility of these card kits. These card kits come to my customers for free whenever they order this week. And my card kits only run for one week. So by next Monday, I will have a new card kit. So you only have one week to collect it. The one that I had last week, which I'll give you leeway and I'll give you till the end of today to get your hands on this one, is this one here. So this one was really, really popular. You love the Sweet Soiree Specialty Designer Series paper. So you get the six sheets, double-sided, double of course, with the beautiful... And this is a specialty paper, this one, so it has the beautiful silver sparkle in it. So there's only a few left of this one, and this will be finishing up today. And you get the six... Um, bases to go with it. I decided to do Rich Razzleberry, Powder Pink, um, there's an Old Olive and Marina Mist as well. And you get six in that. So that's $10 and free postage Australia wide for that one. Sorry, I can only send them in Australia because to send them overseas is $9. I know, so expensive. So let's flip you around. I'm just going to move over all my mess because there's mess everywhere. Pretend the um, beauty, the magic of camera is, it, I'll just pretend it's really neat in here. <laughs> okay, let's flip. And if any of you have any questions about what I've talked about, please ask because I know I talk very quickly. And I have to remember to flip the camera too. I forgot that last time and everything was back to front. Sarah Fleming kindly said to me, um, you look like you're left-handed now. Let's see if this is looking right. Yes, that is definitely the right way. So the beauty about these card kits with this one, I'm doing the thick cardstock because it's going to be the base. I want it to be thick cardstock. Um, and the thing that I like, so we'll grab a couple of these, fold them in half and you have your card and you can go landscape or portrait. Of course, bone folder. Oh my goodness, best tool ever other than the Stamparatus. So fold those. And so you can go this way, this way, whatever way you prefer. Last time you went live, you were sideways, Sandra. Oh, no. These things happen. It's part of the, the magic of camera. So I've seen that you can do this, right? You can just basically put it straight down. It's ready to go to, to stick down. But if you wanted to do a, you know, be a little bit more creative with the card kit that I've given you, it's totally up to you how much time you have. You can just stick it straight down, done, add a sentiment if you want to, and you've made the amazing cards. Oh, Bruno, what are you talking about? Don't even start that conversation. <laughs> we are not talking about the bone folder being bone. <laughs> People could be offended. <laughs> So I decided with this paper, it's so beautiful that it would be really nice to colour it in. And I thought it would be nice in an ombre colour. Oh my goodness, I have got so much mess. But if you wanted to, you could even cut down. And I'll show you what you can do to cut this down. Because there was someone saying that they had a big problem with measurements. But it's very, very simple. Once you get the idea of what you're doing, I've got my little container of daubers sponge daubers with the names so I'm going to do pool party Bermuda Bay and Emerald Envy and I'm going to sponge it on this one here because I love the geometric look of this card and I've been wanting to do this for a while this card so the first thing I'll do is I'll come in with the light color so let's go for pool party and all I do is just dab it in 
Someone um on I saw a video that Janet Wakelin did and someone used glycerin and um it seemed to smooth out the stamping. I think this ink pad needs more ink. It is a very light colour though. So you can sort of see very light colour. I'm glad you like this designer series paper, Nikki. It is gorgeous. Yeah, I think I need to top him up. After I finish this video, I'll definitely give him a refresh. Do all of you have the um, refills always handy? I've collected the whole set, so that I've always got them there, and it's great because they barely run out. Okay, very light. Oh, you're working with it for your Love It Chop It. Oh, that's cool. We're all into Love It Chop It now. It's so good. So this one's the Bermuda. We'll close up the pool party. And we'll jump into the Bermuda because it's the next strength of colour. And you'll see it's going to be a lot stronger than the next one. And you can overlap. That's the beauty of using light to dark. Wow, looking good. And obviously the more that you layer your ink on, the more color that you're gonna get with it. And then we'll go with our Emerald Envy is our last one. There we go. Does anyone think that we're going to have a colour refresh this year? There's been a lot of talk going around about it. I'm telling you, if there's a colour refresh, I definitely want... Oh, yeah, that's it. Glycerin drops added to your aqua painter make it more slippery. Yeah, someone used the blender pens with glycerin. And even these sponge... Like, they were sponging with glycerin. It was such a cool idea. I really want to buy some. I've got to put it on my shopping order because I found out that I can get it at Woolies and it just makes it smoother and easier to blend, which I thought was a great little craft tool to have. So I want to go back in with a bit more pool party because it's looking very light there. I might end up using soft sky, strangely enough, and get more ink. Oh yeah, that's a little bit better. I probably could stamp my entire stamp pad on there. <laughs> Yay! It's a bit better. But that is Stanza! Look at that. So that is just how easy it is to make this card kit. And you could do this with any of the sheets that come in this little card kit. So my customers will be receiving this for any order over $50. And you could do it with any of these beautiful papers. Like imagine these even if you just sponged. I mean, a lot of you have seen this done with the blends. And it just looks so super stunning. Like you can see this one. Sarah Fleming sent me this one. And a lot have done it like this. It's just beautiful using that paper like that. You'd like to see Blackberry Bliss? Yes. I'd like to see Mint Macaron. Oh, sweet sugar plum. Did anyone see the catalogue that Sarah posted? I'm like, is that Dapper Denim? Is that Night of Navy? And then someone said, maybe it's Concord Crush coming back again. I was like, oh, I didn't even think of that. I'm hoping it's Night of Navy. Oh, you didn't send this one, Sarah. Sorry, Sarah. Oh, it's Christy. Sorry, Christy. Thank you, Sarah. Yes, this was Christy Davy. And she sent earrings to go with it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, you know, giving it to the different person. <laughs> yes. Concept artist said Night of Navy. Concept art. Whoa. Well, Night of Navy is so hot right now. Just like to show you my nails. <laughs> so I was hoping it was Night of Navy because, you know, I may or may not have chosen a colour for my crazy crafters this year at On Stage, and it may or may not have been Night of Navy. They'll have to wait until On Stage to find out. But I would be very happy. It would look like I knew. <laughs> so did not know. 
Anyway, so that's some really cool ideas with this one. So if you have blends, you could use sponging, um, you could use any sorts of colouring techniques, even your watercolour pencils if you've got those, and make some really, really gorgeous cards with these. But I want to show you something cool that you can do as well. So say this is here. I mean, it looks nice. It looks good. But let's just up the ante a little bit on this card. I'm going to grab some Bermuda Bay right and we're going to get our stamp and trimmer out do some cutting do some love it chop it now all you have to do is to understand what this measurement is here so i've done it at 10 centimeters by 14.4 right so you're just going to cut off a couple of um centimeters off so let's go to 13.9 which is that going to be one, two, three, four, five? Yes, that's five mil off. So 13.9. And then we'll do the same five mil off. So that's 9.5 on this side. Sorry, it's metric, people. That's the way I roll. And then we're going to come in and get our beautiful Bermuda Bay. And we'll cut it at 14.4 which was the old size of the designer series, I mean the designer series paper, by 10. And then that will just create a little mat for it. That will just help those colours to pop out a bit more. And layer it and look at that. And, of course, you can go smaller again. You don't necessarily have to. Like if I wanted to, um, I might even try this just to show you the difference. So if I take it down by 2 mil. What have we got? Oh, is that too big on that side? I did 9.5. I was wondering why that was a bit big. Oh, no, it wasn't 9.5. I'm just guesstimating now. Anyway, let's just do this. So I've brought this down again, another 5 mil to 13.9, which was what this size was here, to 9.5. But what I'm going to do is just take off a couple mil. So I'm going to go for, let's go three millimetres. So I'm going to go to 9.2. And I know this sounds confusing, but once you get used to what size everything is, it's actually very easy to 14. So 13.9 we were on, weren't we? So we want to go... 13.6, so take off three millimeters. And then you'll see what happens here. So it's very close. See how the matting is a lot closer? Am I, how am I typing comments? Um, Bruno must have logged in as me. Yeah. <laughs> Bruno's logged in as me. Bruno. <laughs> so do you like that? See, I like that look better. But, you know, it's totally up to you. And you could even matte again behind with a bit of white. But it's just taking little increments off and knowing, okay, so if this space is going to be like 9.5, I want to go a couple of millimetres more and then that will make that a little bit more. <laughs> Caught out, Bruno. He's pretending to be me. <laughs> no, he's actually like one of my admins on my um, demonstrator page. So the minute he signs in... He becomes me. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoy the thin borders as well. And then on top of that, what you could do, and I really love this technique. I love seeing black embossed on white. So let's just have a look around this craft room because I have not planned what sentiment to use. Does that fit nicely in there? Oh, that's a nice one. That will actually look really good with the starburst. So... Let's grab this out and I'll get some Versamark. Have I got some scrap basic black here? Jesse? you'll be happy with me. I'm looking in the scrap bin first. I found some. So let's have a look here. I have all my little embossing things together so that makes it easy when I'm randomly deciding to do embossing live without planning it so embossing buddy smush that over then we'll get our 
sentiment. I'll get a block. Yep, this block's a good size. And we'll versa mark that. I'll do it sort of towards the middle because the stubburst punch is a little bit larger. And then we'll put our white embossing on. Sorry if there's comments coming through. I'm being distracted crafting. I'm in the craft zone now. And we want to move our embossing powder out of the way before we emboss. Someone's laughing. What's going on? <laughs> hey, Mark Ryan, what are you doing here? How come you're not at work? I'll do this and scroll through and see what I've missed. I think I need go to go back to that sale caddy one. Oh, sale caddy one more time. Yeah, the trays are great. It's a shame they're gone. I kept mine though. I didn't want it to go forever. Some things I can't let go of. I know, it's Mark Bruno. You have to sing your um, Filipino song together. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, look at this. Boom. I got to use my new punch on video and I think it needs I don't normally put little strips like the little um what are they called it's not bunting someone might be able to help me but anyway I'll just do a little one centimeter strip just eyeballing and then I'll do this with my scissors oh, that was very New Zealand of me where's my snips there they are so what you can do is come in here, cut through the middle, and then just go to each edge. Have all of you seen this before? I'm sure you have. Anyway, just in case you haven't, that's how I easily do one of these. Oh, that's a little bit wonky. Is that a bit better? Yes. There we go. Did you get that one? Banner. Thank you. <laughs> no, not the legs, 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 um, Jesse. A koi lily gaia. A koi lily gaia. That one. The boys sang it together. Oh, I stinking love that. But I think I'm going to do another little banner. What colour should I do? I think I should do a whisper white banner. Jesse, I'm looking in the scraps bin. I found one. I found a scrap. Let's just put them next to each other. I like doing this while I'm creating. I just put it next to each other and go, do I like it? And then if I don't like it, it gets scrapped. But I do like playing around and just seeing. So again, cut in the middle. Pool party. Ooh, that'd be nice too, Joanne. Black for you, Bruno. Yeah, I think it's got enough black. I think it needs to be lightened a little. 12 more st sleeps for Priscilla's hug. Yeah, I'll do it like that. Do you think I should overlap? I think a little bit of an overlap would be nice like that. And then I'll cut it on the edge. And, of course, we'll use some dimensionals, right? What did you find a white scrap? <laughs> Bruno Batucci. He used the gold foil thinking it was white cardstock. Oh, Bruno. So let's compile our exciting card that you can see was just a card kit. Very, very simple card kit that I'm showing you how you can adapt and make it your own if you wanted to. Or you can just keep it simple like the way I've sent it. So Tombow Glue, awesome, because I can shift it all around a little. If I wanted to, I could even dimensional this. But today I'm feeling like just dimensioning the sentiment. There we go. Looking good. 
Now, where do we want these to be? So I'll probably pull one back a bit just so that it highlights it. Do I want it underneath? A bit of a pop of colour or on top? Mm, I think I like it on top like that. And probably about this distance. So I'm just going to eyeball this. Now, I won't cut it with scissors because you know what will happen? They will be very, very crooked. So let's come in here and do some chop chopping. So my paper was 9.5. So I could probably just gauge this here. And if I need to, I mean, it's always good to cut less than more. But that should be about right. Yeah, that looks good. Hopefully my sentiment doesn't cover too much of it. Oh, no, that's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, what I could do is even do it like that, where they stick out and they don't sit there. That's another option because I probably cut a little bit too much off. But that's nice. You just got your stamp eyes, Noreen. How exciting. How do you get your white embossing looking so crisp? I always make mistakes with the white embossing. Um, it's pretty simple for me, Cassie. I just find that um, as long as I use my embossing buddy, do you use your embossing buddy? I think that's the key. That's where... Um, a lot of the mistakes can happen because if you don't use the embossing buddy everything sticks together so we'll glue that on there don't need a huge amount of glue because it's going to stick to the base anyway we'll get some dimensionals there's always some here I wonder why I wonder why there's always dimensionals in Kylie and Bruno's craft room <laughs> we love I noticed on one of Bruno's videos, he was peeling these off and putting them straight in the bin. Can you believe that? How tidy is that? I was like, are you joking me? He's putting them in the bin while he's making his video. So I think I'll do it like that and then glue that. Yeah. So I'll just stick that on there for now. Put a bit of glue on here because it's going to cover all the dimensionals. And then I can place this wherever I want it to go. I think about there's nice. There we go. I just sort of move it around a bit until it's somewhere that I want it to be. Does that look good there? Ta-da! We just made a card together. Thank you for your help, everyone. And if I wanted to as well, which I think I will, because I think it will look really cool, I could put some diamantes or what have I got here? I've got some nice silver. Actually, I don't even know if we've got some silver. Um, some silver sequins at the moment. I've got these ones. They're really cool. The faceted gems. Does everyone use their faceted gems? And look what you can do. You can get your um, blendies. Actually, let's do that. Let's do let's do a blendy in Bermuda Bay. We'll blendy one of them up so I can show you. Because, um, yeah, it shows you how you can do some cool alternatives. Let's see what it looks like. Should I use the dark one? What's this one? Dark Bermuda Bay. Let's try it with this one. I think this one's more true to to colour. Let's see what it looks like. Mm, it's probably a bit light. I probably do need the dark one. Although the light's quite nice. Can you see that? Sorry, I'm not even in the light. I'll try it with the dark one. Sequins! Oh, Metallics Assortment. That's right. Thank you, Paula. I'm getting like, oh, is it Occasions catalogue, annual catalogue. When I got back, I had to learn everything again. Oh, this one's a lot better. So use your dark Bermuda. 
So I'll do a couple of them. And I might do one plain one. This was fun. I think you could do it with your sequins too if you wanted to. It's one good thing about um, the blends is because they're alcohol based, you can have a bit of fun with your embellishments too. Look at that. Can you see that? That's cool. Fun. So where are we going to place these? I think just um, on the actual card itself would be fun. So probably in the lighter area. Actually, we could even place it in the middle there if you're a bit, um, you like things to be orderly. Let's do it in there, yeah. I love using my paper snips for gluing, for sticking these down. But then I'll do another one because it's always good to have an odd number. And I'll do an, another one around here, but just odd. And then another one down the bottom here. So probably, we could probably put it, yeah, I think definitely on the left because it will balance this here. I think about there. We'll put it in the middle of this little pattern here. There we go. Bit of bling. Oh, no problem, Virginia. A staple in belly for me. Yes, I know. I love my my um, sequins. But this is really good to use the faceted gems. Clear faceted gems. So very good with blends. FYI, get them out, have some fun, put a little bit of bling on. Um, but yes, thank you everyone. So I'll just flip you around. Oh, before we go, I will do the inside because I want to show you something cool. I don't think that there's an insert in here, Jesse, that's a scrap. I'm very sorry, but I'm going to have to open up a new one. I always wobble my um, whisper white now to see if it's thick or regular size so my insert I'm going to cut it at I think I'll do 14.6 we'll have a look once I do it at 10.2 so that's taking off three millimeters oh should I do no I'm gonna do this you know what if we're gonna do it we'll do it properly right yes so let's do this one at 10.2 and 14.6 and then I'll just take off a few millimetres off this one. So we'll go three millimetres less, 9.9 .9. and what was I at? I was at 14.6 so we'll go 14.3. Have a look at that one yep that looks good now before I glue that down what I'm going to do is look at my little scrap file and add a little accent at the bottom there isn't that cool the other alternative that I could do is also add some washi I just got some new washi so even this one here and she'll see if I've got one open first. You impressed with me, Bruno? <laughs> Is there any open washi? Actually, I think it might be in Bruno's room. I will just have to open this one. What a shame. He'll be like, no, don't open the washi. There's one open. Oh, yes, I do love washi. Do all of you collect washi like me? I've got so much of it and I just love it. So, oh, this one here is really cool. And see, it goes goes with the geometric look. Oh, it's here. Bruno's here. <laughs> He's shaking his head at me. <laughs> it's here. <laughs> That's okay. It'll get used for our Random Act of Kindness cards. There's always something to use it for. He's just like, Kylie, you're using all of this washi you don't need to use. Yeah, I'm going to do this one. So the best thing about washi, 
So I'm going to put it about there. If I wanted to, I could do a few of them if, if that was a little look that I wanted. Use your grid paper to, if you want it really straight. This is probably not that straight. And best, you can rip and you can just fold it behind. And look at that. It looks like you've perfectly cut it, perfectly aligned it. How do I store my washi? I've got little um, drawers to put them in. Hey, Judy, good to see you. Yes, you have all the washies. Oh, no, Jesse. <laughs> I'm just going back on the comments. <laughs> so we'll glue that down. <laughs> you should have seen Bruno's face. He's just shaking his head like typical. She's opening another one that didn't need to be opened. And now what I can do, and I'll show you what I will do actually, because it's pretty exciting. We'll open this. I like it on the sides too. Just so nowhere misses out. Ooh, bit of extra there. Good thing I've got my adhesive remover to take off that sticky bit. You can just straight away use some um, wipes. That helps if you get a bit too much adhesive on there. There we go. Give it a bit of a wriggle for inside. Yep, that looks good. It's a really fine inside. Hey there, Ellen. Good to see you. You put in a Glad Wrap roll box, Paula. That's cool. See you, Sarah. Yeah, I hope they bring the adhesive remover back too. But for the time being, I got myself some online. <laughs> Because I, I lost mine and I'm like, <laughs> I don't have the adhesive remover. So that's what I had to do because I do love it. So the other thing that I wanted to show you, because, you know, there's so many layers to these cards, is now when I get the envelope, look what I can do because I used the washi on the inside. I can also use the washi here, rip it. It doesn't matter if it looks ripped and ugly you just pop it on there this one you will have to cut though you can't sort of wrap it around because you're going to see it on that side but it's nice and easy just grab your snips cut it there and then on this side we can do it on the just make sure that there's a bit extra put it on the envelope flap there Ta -da. Cut that. See, isn't washi the best? Look at all this fun we're having. And it just instantly sticks. Whoops, I kind of cut a little bit of the card there, but that's okay. We'll just snip this off like you never saw anything. Nothing to look at. So there we go. We've even decorated our envelope to go with it too. Yes, the inside normally does get very neglected. But I do love making my insides and a beautiful envelope to go with it. Look at that. Wouldn't you be excited to receive that? Zoom to the bottom of the envelope. Which bottom? Oh, my, my signature. That's my stamp. That one? CraftyKylie.com. That's a stamp that I got designed. Just makes it easier when I'm sending out. good lovely excellent so there we go I'll flip you around again so I can chat to you some more and catch up with some of your comments in case I missed something if there's something you said while I was crafting please mention it again you've not thought of doing what um Rick the washi or the sentiment? Getting the stamp made. I'm glad you liked the insert, Miranda. Ah, 
There we go. We're back. Oh, did you say not to open the washi dress? <laughs> we'll use it. What are you two stressing about? We've got three months till the new annual catalogue. We just have to send more random act of kindness cards and use them. Oh, stamping near the personal stamp. Yes, it's a good to have that one. So thank you very much for your help with this card. I seriously didn't even know what I was going to use. So we made this card together. Literally, you saw me create a card live. Nothing like putting yourself under a tad bit of pressure. I better see washi on all of your cards. Oh, man, it's like I've got, like, parents. Breno and Jessie are like mum and dad telling me off all the time. Don't do that. No. Stop using cardstock. <laughs> Clearly, I need parenting. That's what it means. So depressing. But I have to have these people in my life so that they run my business and I don't just play with cards all day and have fun. <laughs> they burst my bubble of fun. <laughs> Although Jessie is pretty good fun. <laughs> yes, I know. That's why I wore this blouse today because I wanted to match my designer series paper. <laughs> I totally planned it. I actually did. I knew. <gasps> yes, go on, Bruno. Who wants to win this? Yes, that card. Bruno's going to draw a winner. And actually, while we're at it, I'm sure we've got another giveaway here too, Bruno. Do two people, because I'm pretty sure I've got some cool thinlets in this drawer. Let's have a look here. Let's have a, let's have a look in my little stash here. Of free giveaways. Ooh, actually, I know what I'll give away today. We'll give away this one. What's this one here? It is the... Oh, man, I'm getting old. I'm going like this. <laughs> the Layered Leaves Dynamic Textured Embossing. And I think we've also got some uh, circle layering circle framelits here too for someone to win. Two winners in Australia, Chloe. Two winners for coming live. And the card. Someone's going to win the card. So the first winner, Bruno, you can announce is the card. And then the and then the second winners, they'll just have to wait and see the other two. Oh, the winner of the card's Lynette. Huh, Lynette, I'll be sending you this. I love giveaways too, Karen. So fun. <laughs> and who's going to win the next prize? So we've got the circle, layering circle framelits or the leaves. <laughs> me, me, me. We all love free stuff. I'm so the same. I'm like at on stage, which is only two weeks away. I'm like, oh, please, I want to win that. It's like so much fun. <laughs> I love seeing you all live too. Thank you for jumping on. <laughs> Lynn wants the card. Sorry. Another Lynn, Lynette one, Lynn. Lynette Baum won the card. Thanks, Priscilla. So Bruno's probably just doing a little scan now and adding it into the, the program. So we've talked about a lot of cool stuff today. Lots of amazing things happening. Celebration almost over. Um, pleasure, Lynette. Pleasure. Um, I'm actually looking at my diary. Do we have another Monday before? <laughs> Shelly, what are you, oh my goshing about? <laughs> oh, it's such a pleasure, Vicky. Serious. There's no point for it staying in my drawer. I have it here for giveaways, so I just have to be a bit more organised to get them, get them posted out. Jessie, you have access to everything in my craft room. You are not winning something. However, I do have to hold something. Do you think that there's going to be another diary, another planner in the new catalogue, Jessie? Are you going to behave yourself? Do you want a new catalogue? Do you want a new planner? I'm thinking because of how popular the planner was for this annual catalogue. I would be very surprised if there's not a new one. 
Who thinks there's going to be a new planet and I should hold it over Jessie to behave herself? Although she's been very good. She hasn't even been playing um, her farm story game. What's your game again, Jessie, that you play? <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> Why would you need another planner? You always need something new. If Stampin' Up! brings out something new, totally I'm going to get it. Uh, if it's a new colour or a new, maybe they have like new paper with it or something. I think it'd be awesome. I hope they do. Yeah, maybe new inserts. <laughs> Give Jesse the planner. Hey day, that's right. Hey day. <laughs> so I'm getting my planner now. My Stampin' Up! planner. And I'm having a look. My mum arrives this Wednesday. We have visitors for a week. <gasps> Isn't that exciting? And my sister. I haven't seen my sister and my mum for ages. It's probably over a year and a half now that I haven't seen them. So that is going to be very exciting to have them come and stay with us. It's Easter Monday next Monday. So I think with mum being here, actually, in fact, you know what usually happens on the first Monday of the month? You are only just discussing the planner too. I did decorate it and then I pulled it off. Whoopsie. <laughs> Live video gal. You know what? Maybe we will do that. <laughs> that would be very cool. But normally I have my business chat. I have my business chat planned for the first weekend, first week of the month. However, what I'll do is I'll swap that because I would love to have a, a business chat after on stage um, just to chat about what... We saw, well, obviously we can't talk about what, what I saw yet because the, um, what do you call it? Oh, the winner of the folder is Shelly Young. Oh, congratulations, Shelly. Yeah, love family. You never know what's around the corner. It's so true. We're like, oh, we're coming. Oh, okay then. Good. <laughs> it's their first time coming to see our place. So that's really exciting. So Shelly for the folder, excellent. So yes, yeah, so we'll see you. I'll definitely get mum on here next week so you can meet my mum. Same time, same place. Um, we may be out and about though, so I don't think we'll be doing any, doing any crafting. In fact, I think we have a lunch at my auntie's place on the Monday. So I'll just jump on and do a very quick live video so you can meet some of my family. My brother will probably be there as well. Um, my sister wouldn't have arrived yet, but oh yes, my sister will be here too. So yeah, you can meet some of my family and they can say hello to you all. You can give them lots of love and they'll be like, what is going on? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> so that will be really cool. And um, yeah, so we'll just have a little chat if there's anything new to update you. Because uh, Celebration will be over by next week. So, oh, you lost your mum. Oh, that's really sad. That's making my visit extra special, Mel. I'll make sure that I really appreciate her coming. Pleasure, Shelley. You're welcome. <laughs> so, yeah, so that'll be great. Have a wonderful, wonderful last week of um, Celebration. Um, I know we've got the circle framelits that Bruno's just working out who's going to win this one. He loves me giving away prizes because he's like, empty the drawer. There's so much stuff in there. We've got to make it tidy, tidy. Um, make sure that, yes, I will give her extra cuddles. We're going to be playing lots of card games together. Bruno's just bought a whole lot of card games, which I'm really excited about. They're a lot of fun. Phase 10. Um... Bonanza, Bean Bonanza, all these are really good games. Monopoly, um, what is like Monopoly Express or something? Anyway, we've got lots of card games. Mum loves doing cards. Even last night I was playing an Italian card. Is it an Italian card game we played last night? It sounds like a briscola. So that was interesting. I had no idea what I was doing, but we won twice. <laughs> Monopoly deal, that's it. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. It's a nice way to spend time together too. So we'll probably be playing lots of games this week and eating and having red wine and champagne. <laughs> oh, my parcel just, I just got alerted my parcel's coming. Yay. 
yes, there'll be lots of fun, lots of walking. We'll take the dogs out for a walk and spend a lot of time together. So that's going to be really nice. Yeah. So I look forward to a wonderful week ahead. If you need any help at all with celebration, last chance to get freebies. The last time I said on my newsletter, this is how I said it. You ready? I like the way I said it. Who would like $66 of Stampin' Up! product for free? Who would like free postage? And how about two free stamp sets? And what if I said you could have 20% discount on all of your items from now on? Would you go, yes, please? Of course you would. Don't you love putting it like that? Because that's exactly what you get when you join. Yay, Karen! That's exciting. Karen Sutton. She gets the thin lights. Yay, Karen. Thanks, Bruno. You're very, very helpful. Jesse, you're going to have to work very hard for that planner if there's one coming. Or insert or whatever's coming. <laughs> I hope it's a new planner. I really do. I want a new one. I mean, I love mine, but I want a new one. It's always good to refresh. Thank you, Christy. Yes, I can't wait to see you on stage. Make sure you come and see me because I have a present for you. In fact, I have a lot of presents. I'll do a little reveal. I won't show too much, but in this box, I have really cool presents. A lot of presents. Not just for my team, but for people who come and see me and say hello. Ooh, a new colour. It's going to be so exciting going to on stage. So Bruno just said, if you have one, make sure you PM Bruno your um, address. Or you can just send it to me. I think I've got most of your addresses. You're loving your gifts, are you, Jessie? Yes, Jessie got some gifts. She got some presents. Yes, Bruno used Woo Box. Uh, yeah, I think he did. Knowing Bruno, <laughs> he probably typed all the names in. <laughs> I'd be like this. Ta da! Yeah, you won. <laughs> Bruno's a very hard worker, he's very diligent. So have a lovely, lovely on stage, those that are going. If you are a customer of mine and you're wondering what on stage is, it's a demonstrator only event. And this is another reason why you would want to join because we are going to have the most fun together. Toing! Hello! <laughs> yeah, it's going to be really good. So we have an event coming up in a week's time. Oh, is it a week? No, two weeks' time for on stage. And I have lots and lots of presents sorted for my team. In fact, this whole box behind me here. I have done lots and lots of gifts. Woohoo! Look at this. Lots of prezies for my team. We've got 50 crazy crafters coming. Um, so it's going to be amazing. Blow my mind. And we get to see the brand new an annual catalog early. We get to order from the annual catalog. Yes, we get freebies um, from the annual catalog. Oh my goodness, Karen, it's your first on stage. It's so good. And Sarah Douglas is going to be in Sydney. Ooh, I like Bruno. Look how technical he is. It links to this post. And if anyone commented on this post, they are automatically added. And then I just press a button to get the winner. Check that out, Woo Box. You're so clever, Bruno. Look at that. Look at the technology. You just have to learn where it all is. So yes, on stage we're going to see the new catalogue, new annual catalogue. Pretty much for any of my customers that want the annual catalogue early, the best way to get the annual catalogue is anyone who has ordered $50 or more with me in the last six months will be sent one automatically. And that is the best way to get it from me. Otherwise, you'll have to pay $10 because that's how much it costs to post it. So if you would like an annual catalogue for free, now is a great time to place an order, especially during celebration. So remember the beautiful card kit. I've shown you how you can utilize the card kit. Any of my customers get that for free um, if they order over $50. So that's cool. Oh, Shelly's just messaged me. Thanks, Shelly. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's going to be awesome with Sarah. Really looking forward to seeing Sarah Douglas. She's going to be very popular. So we might just have to wave from afar. But hopefully at um, Centre Stage, anyone who's Silver Elite and above, I have a few in my team that are coming for the first time. We get a special function, so we will get to meet Sarah, our CEO of Stampin' Up! in person at uh, Centre Stage. So any of my Silver Elite and above, that, or any, any person that's going to Centre Stage in Sydney, please make sure you make time for Sarah because it's a pretty cool experience to have access to her with such a few amount of people. Once it gets to the big event, then there's hundreds of people and it's a lot harder to say hello to her. So definitely make the most of that. Hopefully we can get some photos with her. Yes, I'll see you at Centre Stage, Ellen, for our annual oh, well, our every six-month hug, but it has been a year for me. Yeah, it's going to be amazing, Nicole. I've got some really beautiful gifts for my girls that have reached the status of Silver Elite and above. Um, so Jesse and I have had fun shopping. <laughs> so we will be looking forward to seeing their faces when they see their presents and gifts. Um, it's a really, really great time and a really great event to be part of. But you can only be part of that um, if you basically join Stampin' Up! That's the only way you get to be part of it. So the best thing to do is to join our team and be part of all the fun. So if you have any questions, let me know about joining. Um, if you have questions about yeah, what you can do as a demonstrator to increase your business and to progress, I have training for demonstrators as well, um, not only for my team but outside of my team. So that really helps a lot of demonstrators globally to push themselves out of their comfort zone. Yes, see you then, Noreen. That'll be great. Are you going to Sydney as well? Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, lots of exciting things ahead. Thank you so much for all being here today. If you have any questions, I'll pop up all the links as soon as I've closed this down. Um, if there's something that I miss or a question that you have, let me know and remember my amazing Love It Chop It Club cardstock paper. There's only two days left. It finishes tomorrow. So now's the time to sign up today. So thank you. Have a wonderful week and thank you for being here live. We'll definitely be in touch with you all soon. Look out on our blog this week. Make sure you're subscribed because there's going to be lots of cool stuff. Remember tomorrow's video is Bruno using these little extra bits that probably most people would throw away but we're not going to waste that so definitely check out his video and there'll be lots more creating this week as well blog hops what have i got this week for blog hops oh go for grease yes we've got the go for grease in my training group we're doing our first blog hop together this week so you will see what we're doing for demonstrators around the world to help them progress so that's going to be this week and I think that's the only one. Yes, and I have some really cool cards lined up, of course. And Bruno has some amazing videos and things like that too. So it's going to be awesome. See you all soon. Have a lovely week. Please ask me questions if you have any. And love you all lots. <laughs> I went crook about opening the washi. He'll be right. I got it for free anyway, Bruno. Who cares? It was a freebie. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Love you lots. Thanks for coming and thank you for your support. Bye. Bye.